Yes, well, 92% of students have already gone through the necessary paperwork and procedures to be able to return to the classroom in just a few hours. But what about that remaining 8%? Well, school officials here with DPSCD are saying that they've got that part covered. We're just treating this like a second first day of school, and we're really excited to get the kids back into school. DPSCD Assistant Superintendent of Communications Crystal Wilson says the district is more than ready for a traditional return to the classroom come Monday morning. We're expecting for all of our kids to be in school tomorrow and ready to be back in the classroom. With over 90% of students consenting to a daily saliva COVID test, the district is prepared to help remaining students also make a smooth transition. This letter went out to parents once again reminding them of the newest COVID protocol. We know that we haven't been able to reach all of our families. And so we're encouraging, as the statement indicated, that families bring their consent forms to school on Monday. Designated staff members will also be on campus making phone calls to reach any households that may be out of the loop. We have staff who are prepared uh, and will be on hand tomorrow to help students facilitate calling home and getting the consent form signed. Students who end up ultimately not consenting will have to enroll in a separate online school run by the district that's fully virtual. It should not be a barrier for not returning to school. And the good news is that there is going to be a grace period for students to be able to make that decision before having to virtually learn. Victor Williams, Local 4. All right, thank you, Victor.